welcome to Happy News Network's first ever mini-sode video. Our goal is to brighten your week while you take a break from doom scrolling. Today, we are launching our October giveaway with Kuro Shiro Creations founder, designer, all-around amazing human, and fellow stage manager, Erica. Hi, Hi Erica. Hello, Hello everybody. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Well, we're, we're so happy so to have excited. you. Can you tell us what Kuro Shiro Creations is? What, what is it? <laughs> Sure. So it's just my little Etsy shop that basically sells merchandise for and centered around Japanese animation, TV shows, movies, uh, just like stickers and shirts and then face masks and then a couple like, like uh, commissioned art pieces here and there. And yeah, just I draw and I sell it is basically what happens. <laughs> That's Love it. great. Yeah. So how did you get started? I got started when COVID happened and because I work in theater, obviously my industry kind of went to sleep for a little while. So I was just looking for some kind of creative outlet and I just started drawing uh, some of my favorite shows, which happened to be anime and people started to really like it. So I was like, maybe I should sell this, not knowing what I was doing. And then I opened the shop and then it just kind of blew up and I've been making my quote unquote COVID living off of this site since July and it's been crazy. That's great. Yeah. Amazing. What is helping you like keep your creative juices flowing? Shana and I talk about how we kind of get like just exhausted from doing nothing, but you just keep like, I follow you on all social media. Um, I just, you are always coming up with new products. How are you, how are you doing that girl? <laughs> um, well, I think that I'm always rewatching the shows and kind of seeing and like seeing the supply and the need for supply and the demand for the supply for these this kind of merchandise for people in America that might not have it available to them. But also really, I kind of walk into stores like Target and other stuff and I see shirts and I'm like, I can make that. And then I do. Like it's or like my <laughs> version of it. You know what I mean? Like there's just shirts that say like brunette in the corner that sell for like 25 bucks and I'm like I could literally make that and then I do and it's great so <laughs> that, that kind of helps me kind of it's like a little competition I keep with myself where I'm like ah, I could do that <laughs> that is such a healthy way to keep it going because you're you're doing things that are fun to you so it's not all seriousness all the time no yeah and honestly most of the stuff that I create I would want to wear and that's kind of why I make it like, I wear mm -hmm. all of my own stuff. Like, I, most of my wardrobe now exclusively is shirts that I have created because I would want to wear them. And then I just sell them also. So Good I do it you. mostly for me, but then I sell it. <laughs> I love it. You have to look it. out for I yourself mean, first these days. I bought this shirt from you months yes, ago. You and I literally wear it every time. <gasps> look at it. it. Those shirts, like, yes. you know, when you, like, do laundry and you're like, ooh, there's my shirt. And you put that on immediately. Like, this is that shirt for me. Like, I, Yay. it's so cozy. And I love the cut of it. Anyway, yes. I wear that it was, as often that one, as wasn't, that one was entirely a fluke. Like, I drew the design and then someone was like, you should put that on a shirt. And I'm like, okay. And then I just, like, put out on Facebook. I was like, does anybody else want this shirt? And then, like, 36 people were like, yes, <laughs> give me five of them. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> It was crazy. It was so fun, but it was like, Love. <laughs> yeah, it was a really weird, it was a weird like mini indicator where I was like, maybe I should like do this. And this was like pre COVID too. That was still when we all were still like <clears throat> working and living our lives normally. <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Thanks. So let's announce our giveaway. Yeah. Yes. Erica, do you want to share the giveaway items? That I would you... love to. Yes. So I've, we got some, so Halloween is coming up, obviously. So we wanted to go a little theme here. So I created a little spooky bag. I got a little stay spooky tote with some lips going into bats. I thought it was cute. So I created it. And inside, it. inside we have two spooky face masks. We've got cobwebs going on here. We have a black one and a white one. So cute. And then we've got a, ti a tiny canvas bag. It's got a little spooky scene on oh it. Oh my god. Real Look cute. Go. It's cute, right? Little, you can use it for whatever you want. And then I've got a tumbler that says basic witch on it. Because <laughs> awesome. Love. Pumpkin spice iced coffee's got to go somewhere in fall season. So, yeah. Care for it. Yes. So <laughs> Love I got it. it all, all conveniently in this cute little spooky tote. 
stay spooky. Oh, wow. Yeah. I you love are awesome. It. Thank you. <laughs> it was really fun. I usually don't, I, I only really do kind of like themes, themed not anime stuff, like very, very seldom. So it was nice to kind of be like step away from my usual, my usual base. It was nice. It was fun. Yeah. Well, we're so happy to be partnering with you for this giveaway. That yeah. that all of that looks amazing. So I will be entering a lot. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm automatically disqualified. But <laughs> principle of it. Amazing. So if you enter to for this giveaway, you'll win all those products Erica just showed and a chance to join Shayna and I as a co-host for an entire episode of Happy News Network podcast. So to enter, keep an eye out on our social media pages. You have until Wednesday, October 21st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time to enter. Good luck, everyone, from Shayna, Kristen, and Erica. Have a happy week. Have a happy week. week.